Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. A lot of new snake owners have a hard time telling the gender of their snake. We're gonna teach you how to know for sure you're watching Snake Bites. When it comes to most snakes, they don't have any external indicators for gender, so you have to use a sexing technique. We're gonna cover as many as we can today, starting with this corn snake, where we're gonna do something that's called averting their hemipenes, or popping it. A male snake's sex organ is in the base of its tail, south of the cloacal region. They're called hemipenes. And when inverting or popping a snake, what you're trying to do is apply pressure on the south side of the hemipenes and actually roll up and see them invert out of the cloaca. That's how you're gonna be able to tell if it's a male or a female. With most colubrids, there's something that's called tail sexing. So as they get bigger and more difficult to avert, you can actually compare the male and female's tails together. The male will have a much longer tail with less taper to it, and the female, again, will be much shorter and a more dramatic thing. There's nothing more than these hog nose to demonstrate that with this male's really long tail and the female's really short, stout one. All right, guys, it's Cow's Question of the Week. Now, since my gay marriage question went over so well, I'm about to hit you with another one, abortion. And let's get a woman's view on this one. Toby? I personally would never make that choice, but I think under certain circumstances, such as rape, it should be allowed. That's an ethical issue. Me, I am the most anti-abortion person you'll ever meet in your life. And here's a fact. Less than 2% of abortions have to do with rape or incest, mental or physical retardation, or maternal health. Therefore, 98% of abortions are because people are irresponsible and don't deserve to have kids in the first place. Text a video comment below, let me know what you think of abortion. Another technique that you can use on boas, but unfortunately it only works on boas, so if you see these spurs on ball pythons, it means absolutely nothing. But in a male boa, you'll actually see pretty prominent spurs right at the base of their cloaca. You can see them right here. Now females will still have spurs, but they'll be really small. As you can see, this female still has these little tiny spurs, but they're nothing like the males. These guys don't serve a real purpose other than the fact when a male is ready to breed, he will actually use those spurs to stimulate a female. So we've seen tail sexing, averting hemipenes, and even looking for scales on male boas. But when all else fails, there's always what we call the dipstick, which is a probe. You're basically sticking it in and checking the oil. If it goes deep enough, it's a male. If it's shallow, it's a female. Let's go ahead and check it out on a big snake. I think I'm gonna need Chewy for this challenge. Okay, so I've got Chewy to help me with this reticulated python. First thing you wanna do is gel up the, the probe because you want it to, to go in relatively easy. And Chewy, you're gonna make sure the snake doesn't bite me, right? Okay. All right, keep its front end. Keep, go. Go. What we're looking to do here is right here you've got the anal vent. You got it, Chewy? Keep a hold of it. Ugh. What you need to do is keep her like this. And the, the hemipene pockets are gonna be right on the side, right here and you just basically find that hemipene pocket and you push it in. And as you can see, this is a girl. She only goes two subcaudal scales. You can see right there. So that's how you know it's a female. This is a male and he's not quite as friendly as the female was. Again, the male is gonna probe deep so we know that we're looking for a deep subcaudal uh, probing here. Chewy, make sure you get its head. You don't want this thing to come back on me. Okay, again, I'm finding the subcaudal scales here. And you can see that this probe is, is way deep in there. It's going a good eight or 10 subcaudal scales. That's the way you know that it's a male 100%. The one thing I can't stress enough is that you really don't want to do these techniques to snakes unless you have some experience. Now I realize if you don't have experience, how are you going to learn? What I say is make sure you do it alongside someone that really knows and teaches you the correct thing so that the snakes don't get hurt. And after all, if you're not breeding snakes, it really doesn't matter if your female ball python's name is Alberto anyways, does it? Just wanted to get everyone together, introduce you to your new co-worker, Toby. Did you not hear me? Somebody planted here to take us down. George, I'm your mother. You're my mom? It's true, George. <laughs> you're my mother. She said you're a father. Does that make you an a 
And a pedophile? What, 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 say it again? You heard me. Nobody talks to my mama like that and gets away with it. So if she's your mom, and I'm her dad, that makes me your grandpa. So what, old man? Old man, boy, I'm gonna teach you to respect your elders. Hey, I'm fine. Look, I think we need to change up. It's, it's getting a little too hot in here, that's why. No, no, I'm not losing it. It's just, they're a bunch of really nice guys, and I don't think they deserve this. Yeah, well, that's fine, but if this blows up, I'll tell you, I'm not gonna be your fall guy. Hey, I'm fine. Look, I think we need to change up. Right, come on, I got the proof, dude, I got it right here. Kel, I'm serious, I don't freaking have time, I'm in a major crisis right now. Yeah, but dude, I got the proof that Toby isn't who she says she is. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding, and I- Dude, she's up to something, something big. She was asking Chewie and George about this. The super chocolate walker ball. Kel, I'm not kidding. I'm freaking busy. Go play your conspiracy theorist somewhere else. Fine. If you don't give a about saving your life's work, then I will. F you, Brian. Toby! I don't know what kind of f***ing game you're playing, but I'll be damned to let you take this place down. I don't know what you're talking about. You can play a little games while they last. You might have Brian in your pocket, but I'm watching you, and your days here are numbered. Toby? Mom? Yeah, run to mommy, baby boy. Well, if you can't prove anything, we'll see who believes who. Toby? Mom? Oh, watch you cry to your little mama, baby boy. No, Cal! I don't care what you say. I'm keeping it. Talking about what's going on? I'm pregnant, and Kel's the father. What? You're not my baby girl. You mother. Oh, God. God. Seriously. For this week's comment of the week, I got a question over on my Twitter account from Corn Snake 99. I love the band Corn, and I love snakes. What rock stars do you know who keep snakes? Well, I tell you what, there's a ton of rock stars that keep snakes. Derek Roddy, Slash, and Kerry King from Slayer, just to name a few. I guess rock music and snakes kind of go hand in hand. Hey, if you guys ever want to send me a tweet, just go ahead and hit me up on my account right down below. I'm always happy to hear what you have to say. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and have an understanding of how to properly sex a snake. The community that I want to shout out to is UrbanJunglesRadio.com. It's a great radio show. You guys got to check it out. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites.